Welcome back guys, we're back in with another Minecraft tutorial and this time we're going to be going over how you can install FTB Revelations on your Minecraft server using Seekerhost. And if you haven't got yourself a server already, head over to Seekerhost, they've got some really reasonably priced packages with some really good no lag servers. I'll have the address popping up on the screen just now, make sure to head over there and grab yourself a server. Now we're going to be doing the tutorial from a brand new fresh server, we will also discuss if you have got a server with files in it already, um, just in case you want to switch over and you want to save your worlds too. And the first thing that we're going to need is the Curse Forge Launcher, this is only because I find it much easier rather than installing the, um, the Forge Jar, plus also all the mods separately, you can do it in one easy place and if you decide you don't want to play anymore you can just delete it as easy as that now to do that head over to curseforge.com i'll leave the links in the description and head over to minecraft from here you can pretty much go on any mod pack and when you hit install it's going to bring you to this page right here if you have already got the curse forge installer you're going to get this message right here of which you can just click open if you don't simply use this page right here to download for windows or download for mac os so once you've got everything set up, you've installed it, and also you will be required to log into your Mojang account. So just make sure that you've got your username or you remember your username and password. And from the main page, we can go ahead and choose a game. Let's go to Minecraft first. And as you can see here, my mod packs, I already have it installed. Uh, the reason I installed it is it does take about 10, 15 minutes sometimes. It's quite a large mod pack. Um, but however, if you don't have it installed already, no problem let's just go over to browse mod packs over here and simply use the search bar on the top to search it up as you can see here we've got ftb revelations i've got play however you'll have installed it's only one click once you click that it'll install everything for you um, and then you can hit play once you've installed it this will of course only work for your single player world so you'll be able to play single player um, however if you want to add it to your server let's just go one step further so now before we get into this if you have already got a server up and you want to save your world you can download it a few ways you can either head over to files and then go to ftp file access just make sure of course that you have stopped your server before you do any of this or move any files over and you simply check the world that you want to download and then head over to download this has now downloaded a zipped file of your world and you can use it anytime or upload it again if you need to so before we install the server jar one thing that i do like to do myself is delete all the files make sure that it's ready now fresh of course now you have got your world saved if you did want to save it for another occasion and there's a few way to delete all your files and start afresh the first way would be files and then go to setup from here you can simply check the clean mod directories and plugins and then tick delete all server files once you start your server back up that will clean everything back to brand new however this will start again with the default jar what you can also do is just select configure server for mod and this will actually do this for you again so it'll delete all the server files as you can keep this checked and then you can click apply another way that i actually prefer to use is going over to files going to ftp file access once you're logged in simply select the all button right here and then hit delete then hit submit as you can see all the files have now been deleted however if you have got a really large server you might want to use filezilla in that case just connect up using your host username password and port you can then highlight all the files in the server and simply hit delete now that our server is completely empty and it's ready for the new mod pack and configuration we are going to be going down to the server jar file instead of default we want to select the ftb revelations 3.4.0 at this point you can change your domain name for people to join, change your world name or the actual name of the server. You can also change any of the configuration files for the new world that is about to generate, however we're going to go back to setup. Now from setup you want to select the configure server for MOTD. I'm going to leave the delete all server files unchecked because I've already deleted mine manually, however if you haven't simply select this and press apply. Now if we just head back to our dashboard over here we're all ready to start up the server. We've got everything configured and we've got the mod pack selected so let's just simply hit start. As mentioned before this is quite a large mod pack so it might take a few minutes just for the server to upload it all. And once the tick pops up on the server you're completely done. You can now head over to your curse forge app, select FTB revelation and then hit the play button. As you can see this has brought us up to our Minecraft launcher and it's already installed the correct forge jar. So now all we've got to do is press play and then we can log into our server. So you're going to get brought to this screen now and I do warn you this will take a little while. Even with the best PC unfortunately there are so many mods on here and so many cool changes that it just will take a while. Don't worry it hasn't frozen just wait it out and um, the server's all up and ready. It's just a matter of getting all your mods on your PC ready so you can actually play it especially if you're doing it for the first time. Once all loaded up you're going to be greeted with this screen right here. Just just head over to multiplayer now just head over to add server as normal type in your domain or your ip number and hit done now we can just go straight onto the server and just like that we've set up our server we can now just go ahead and join and all of our friends can join with us so thanks for watching we'll catch you next time on the next minecraft tutorial stay safe out there bye bye